That was such a cool day. I mean, so many activities crammed into such a tight time frame. And then we're here on this pirate ship, which feels very matching. I got a nice kiss from a jellyfish, but man, that was worth it. Somewhere out there is our boat. I'm so excited. We're waiting for a van right now to pick us up and to take us to our boat. We arrived yesterday in Labuan Bajo, which is on the island of Flores. And Flores is very near to the Komodo National Park. And that's where we are gonna spend the next two days. And three days. Three days two and nights. two nights on a boat. I'm very interested to see if we're gonna sleep at all because Yep. I'm like good with boats, I think. <laughs> we have a balcony. Oh my god, there's so much space and our cabin is so nice. We really didn't expect this. But we also gambled for it because <laughs> there were two different rooms. I mean, there are two double rooms. We are two couples and one of the rooms was better, which was for us. We rolled dice, which I think was pretty fair. We did get really lucky with this room, but to be fair, the other one is also super nice. You've got a really nice panoramic view and also it's on the first floor and all the dorms are on the, well, the ground floor, I guess it's called. And I mean, the dorms also look perfectly fine, but of course this does feel a bit like a luxury uh, on this boat. It's gonna be, I think, a really fun trip and it's also gonna be a very strict program of activities that we're gonna do. So we're gonna directly go to the first spot. So this is Kelor Island, our first stop. It's a very cute island, uh, surrounded by other mountainous islands. The water is super clear. We're hiking up here for 15 minutes to get a nicer view. It is very warm, I think that's gonna be the theme for this whole trip, is sweat running down constantly and also mixing a little bit with the sunscreen that we have to apply every two to four minutes. That's gonna be the whole video, us looking pretty shiny and slightly disgusting <laughs> and if you want to see our boat I'm gonna show you it's this one here you might be able to spot it by the <laughs> giant skull and general pirate theme that it's got uh, I think all the other boats are pretty jealous you look ridiculous you think yeah honestly I mean you're in a public space just <laughs> make an effort This is just gonna be so nice. We don't have to organize anything. We're just gonna sit back, sit backs? We're just gonna sit back, hike a few islands, go snorkeling, eat. It's time to go snorkeling now. I'm preparing the GoPro to give you some nice footage. And we'll see what we find below this ship. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna dive no, under maybe the not, ship? No, maybe not. Um, we did see a giant turtle swimming by the ship. It's a good sign. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be really nice. Let's um, put on another layer of sunscreen, mm -hmm. maybe about the fifth for today. Maybe let's even wear a t-shirt yep. to be I definitely have responsible to wear one. here. And let's go. This is the official launching posture that you need for snorkeling. <laughs> 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 Is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. Snorkeling was really cool. Better than I expected actually. The reef was very relaxed, lots of fish, colors were nice, and what's also super relaxed is now enjoying a few minutes on our 
private little balcony before we stop at our next destination, which is also going to be a short climb up a hill. So it starts with some sophisticated climbing action. Yes, I just threw my flip-flops away because they were just annoying because they don't have as much grip in them. So I guess this is why they call it Strawberry Rock. The colors are really beautiful. It's like an orange, pink marble. It's really nice. Now, I don't know how it developed, but it's really cool. Back on the balcony. We swear we aren't anti-social, it's just that this is the only spot where we have some shade. And it's also really, really nice here. Yeah? yeah, I mean, it is very nice here, but I mean, we don't want to be the guys that... Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go out in a second. <laughs> ...that are just isolating themselves. Climbing up Strawberry Stone has really been fun. And this whole trip feels a little bit surreal because no matter if you're on the boat or on one of the islands, wherever you look, it just looks surreal, really. And next up, we're anchoring at an area where you can see a really nice sunset and also there are lots of bats that are, I don't know, changing. I think they're looking for food and yeah. big swarms of bats will come flying over our boat. We've now stopped at our sunset spot and it's a very good one. And I think it will become even more beautiful when the bats are coming out. But it's already quite perfect. Yeah. thousands of bats and them coming out of the place where the sun just set it just feels so magic and then we're here on this pirate ship which feels very matching this couldn't have been a nicer ending to day one it's been this, really great yeah this view is spectacular It's currently 4.30 in the morning and that can only mean that it's time for another sunrise hike. This is Padang Island. Our guide told us it's his favorite and it's a very beautiful island and you can watch a nice sunrise there and you have to hike up for half an hour and then there's a really nice viewpoint there. And I think it's going to be a fun group activity because being slightly, you know, sleep deprived is always more fun in a group. Indonesia has got some really nice sunrises and sunsets. Definitely. Very good sunrise hike again. We're getting good at this. <laughs> now we're going back to the boat. Yep, and then we're gonna go to Komodo Island to see the real Komodo dragons. But first some snorkeling. First some snorkeling. 
I'm so happy we went on this trip. It's already been so rewarding. And also the group we're staying with on this road is really, really nice. So we're three French people, then one Belgian, one um, Argentinian, and the rest is German, right? So we're seven German people. Yep. The Germans again. It's been really nice. It's a nice atmosphere on this boat. And yeah, I think it's quite important that it's not a group where you feel completely out of place. But I think what is also really nice on this trip is the time you have in between the spots where you can just relax, listen to music, read a book, look at the view. It's amazing. That's what we're going to do now. I do definitely get the appeal of why people choose to buy a boat and live on it for a period of time. I don't think this really compares because we don't really have to do any work and this is quite luxurious but the appeal of just being able to go anywhere and just having nice views pretty much 24 7 I can see that maybe we'll live on a boat that's what I'm trying to say to catch our lunch and now's the time we're heading to Komodo Island one of the main highlights of our trip but then again actually pretty much every stop we've had was a highlight so I think this is gonna be just as good and hopefully we'll see some Komodo dragons we just came back from Komodo Island which is the island where you're supposed to see Komodo dragons. They're endangered and they only live in this national park so we basically have one chance to see them now um, because I don't know when we're gonna be back here. Right in the beginning our guide told us that he went on three or four tours today already and none of them saw any Komodo dragons because it's mating season and they're hiding, they're running around on the island. They're called running, I don't know. So that's why it's quite hard to see them at the moment. So he did some expectation management. We were all like, okay, well, still nice to have been here. Anyways, you might wonder what the result was. <laughs> I saw a little one, um, I think it was a teenage one, also don't think you call them teenagers, but whatever. Um, and that was already like a super nice experience because they're still quite big and yeah we were happy to see it. But then as we walked a bit longer there was one massive one and it wasn't even an, an old or a big male one, it was a small male one. Um, but the males are three times as big as the female ones, so it was massive. Could watch it for quite a while, it was really nice. Um, they are so quick and so strong, it's crazy. So yeah, we're very glad that we had the opportunity to see some Komodo dragons on Komodo. And it was a super nice experience all in all. Cheers to that. Cheers! And we're gonna need some more luck because the next snorkeling spot that we're gonna hit up is called Manta Point. As the name suggests, it's a good spot to see some turtles. We are gonna hit up turtles spot, I think, tomorrow or today as well. Um, but yeah, mantas 
and they're not always there so you know if our luck holds up as it did this morning and in the park and just our whole trip basically then we'll see some which would be nice we've got out on the little boat to find some mantas and they said if we see anything we'll jump in but again expectations weren't really high because the storm was coming up and it was quite cloudy the water was quite dark so um, it was a little bit scary but then we saw a giant fin pop out of the water it looked like a shark yeah first we thought it was one um, but yeah the guide said go in go in it was a massive one and we had to basically be really fast yeah. <laughs> to get a glimpse of it. I was it. basically right from the get-go, it was like a sprint yeah. and we were just, I mean, I was pretty out of breath breathing through my snorkel and just trying to keep up with the manta. But in the end it turned around and it gave us a really nice view of its big wings. Flappy wings. Yeah, <laughs> it was so nice and then we saw maybe two or three more. Yeah, it was another crazy experience um, we never saw a manta ray before and this was i think a really big one yeah it was so cool it was really nice I got a nice kiss from a jellyfish, but man, that was worth it. Where are we? I have no idea. We're in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. We couldn't afford a bigger beach. How nice is this? And with that, day two comes to an end. And what a day it was. Yeah, I mean, I'm just tired now, but that was spectacular. Good morning from our messy cabin. It's day three and it's the last day. Yesterday was a crazy day. So much happened yesterday. It was a very, very long day. I mean, we did get up very early, so that was to be expected, but we also just crammed in so many activities and things to do, and they were all so good. <laughs> Today we woke up at 6 a.m. to get a glimpse of the sunrise, which was really, really nice, even from our room. And we didn't want to fall asleep after because we felt like we want to experience every moment on this trip because the water also looks so nice from here. You can even see the fish from the boat. And now we are going to go in again, snorkeling, because they said there might be some turtles around here. And this place is called Turtle Spot. So, I mean, if you're going to go to one spot to see turtles, this is the one. The spot that we snorkeled this morning was probably one of the best snorkel spots we've ever seen. We didn't really see any turtles, um, other people saw some, but we did see some really cool sharks and the visibility was just incredible. I mean, you could see probably five to ten meters straight to the bottom and it was just such a cool reef. I think that was really special. 
And now it's already time for the second spot. No idea what this one's called. And we're just gonna go with the flow. That was probably the best snorkel spot on this trip. <laughs> yeah, after every snorkel spot we say, oh, this is the best This is the best, this is the best. Been to. But, uh, but they really saved the best for last. I mean, and it's not even the last. We're gonna go to one more. Yeah. <laughs> we saw everything at this spot. There were stingrays, turtles, sharks, giant squid, and just really nice coral Clownfish. reefs. No idea how we're ever gonna go on another snorkel trip again. I think we'll just have to wait for a couple of months and then it will all be amazing again. Yeah. I mean, it's not about checking something off your list, it's about enjoying the experience. The, yeah, the experience and the views and just watching the animals. Snorkeling really is just such a cool activity. It's relaxing when you're not sprinting after a particular animal. And at some parts, the water was so shallow, you could just stay there floating and watching the animals. It's all over soon, but I think we're also really glad to relax real soon as well. Yes. Our last snorkel spot. Sad. Yeah. Let's okay. go, last spot. Ready? Yeah. Time to say goodbye to our lovely room. I'm so sad. It was really an experience of a lifetime. I can't believe it was only three days or two and a half, to be more precise. And if you're thinking about doing this, definitely do it. Also, we can really recommend the company we did it with, Captain Komodo. It's paid about 280 euros each for a double room. It's a bit cheaper if you go into a dorm, which has four beds, um, which is also a bit noisier because it's directly at the generator. <laughs> at least if you're on this boat. Nothing left to say. It's just amazing. We're back in the harbour. So that means we have to say bye to the boat. Thank you, boat. Thank you, Captain Komodo team. Thank you crew, it was so, so nice. Yes, really the best crew. Best crew ever. And we had the best time ever. Really a trip of a lifetime. And just, if you have the opportunity. Do it. Yeah, the Komodo Islands are incredible. I think we've said it enough. And yeah, we're really happy that we did it. That being said, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye-bye.